What's going on everyone? Here in front of us we have a one carat heart shaped diamond engagement ring from James Allen. Let's unbox this thing, take a look at what it looks like in real life in both LED and outdoor lighting. Let's talk prices and let's compare the diamond on the website versus real life. So let's get straight into it and get to the unboxing. If at any point in this video you'd like to reference the setting or any of the heart shaped diamonds from James Allen, I will have links to them down in the video description at the very top. Be sure to check out those links and it will show you both the heart shaped diamonds and the specific setting that we're looking at in this video. So this is how the ring arrived to my doorstep in a very incognito cardboard box. You would never know that there's a ring in here and I did have to sign for the package. So it's sealed up there with some glue on the outside and when you pull the ring box out, it's in this nice little protective sleeve that we can go ahead and pull off to reveal the beautiful James Allen box. Now the James Allen box has a little embossed logo there on the top, very nice packaging, what you would expect to get with an expensive ring. I really like how they did the attention to detail to give you a nice presentation because it really does make a difference. But if we go ahead and open up this top lid, as you can see here, and when we open that up, that reveals the ring there on the top. Now, as always, we get straight to the point on this channel, so let's take a look at that beautiful one carat heart-shaped diamond first, looking fantastic. If you like that, be sure to smash that like button. Here on the bottom, we have a little drawer here with all of our paperwork and a James Allen cleaning cloth. So they include a little cleaning cloth here with their logo on it. Very nice, so you can polish your diamond. And then in this envelope, we have our payment information as well as our diamond report and then a couple other little like advertisement type stuff. So this is your receipt that has everything on it in terms of which diamond you picked, which setting you picked, and your payment information and shipping information. We have a quality assurance paper here saying that your diamond was shipped and everything was good to go and looking good. And then we have most importantly, your diamond report. Now this is gonna be by IGI, GIA, or AGS. This report is gonna have all the specifics of the diamond that you chose. So it's like a certificate of authenticity, but it also grades the diamond by a non-biased third-party company that's gonna tell you the exact characteristics of the diamond. And it's gonna make sure that the diamond that you picked on the website is the one that you're receiving in real life. So very good that they include that. And then we have a little lifetime warranty paper there. But let's go ahead and take a look at the ring. We're gonna look at it indoors and LED lighting, similar to like a jewelry store, as well as some outdoor lighting. So let's start indoors. Here we have some very, very bright LED lighting in this clip. And the reason I'm including this and I've set this up is this is what you would see in a jewelry store. You know, they really focus on having fantastic lighting because it makes their diamonds look great. And as you can see, this diamond is lighting up like crazy. It looks fantastic. So this is to give you, if you were to look at this diamond in like a physical jewelry store, this is what you would see. And it looks really, really nice. Even those little diamonds on the pave band there around the side, looks absolutely fantastic but let's get a little bit of a close-up shot with the macro lens in the same lighting conditions now when we get nice and close with the macro lens this is where we can start to see all the particular little details of the diamond and we can also start to see the slight little inclusions and the imperfections in the diamond itself now all diamonds have imperfections and that's what the grading system is for is to tell us you know really the characteristics of the diamond what it looks like and where those imperfections are and put them in some parameters that helps us understand exactly where that diamond lands on how valuable it is but when we're up close we can see those tiny little imperfections but in real life when you're actually viewing the diamond on someone's finger you can't see those and the stone will look fantastic so it's up to you how much you want to spend to eliminate some of those imperfections and pick the perfect diamond. If you wanna eliminate those tiny little imperfections, you are gonna to have to spend more. But just keep in mind, there's a point of diminishing returns because most of these little imperfections you're not gonna see with the naked eye anyway, only when you're zoomed up close to the diamond. So just keep that in mind. This next clip is taken outdoors. Kind of a cloudy day, but nice sunlight all around us. We're in the shade here underneath a tree. This is phenomenal lighting. I mean, look how amazing this diamond looks. This is some of my favorite lighting that I like to show in the videos because I think this really captures the true look of the diamond. Looks absolutely fantastic. Now we can go ahead and cut over from this view to the macro lens in the same lighting conditions. And you can see this diamond in closer detail in that outdoor lighting. Very, very good looking ring. Now let's go ahead and talk price. Now this particular ring that you're looking at here, this exact ring costs $2,809.05 shipped to my door. And that is because it has a lab diamond. So the one carat heart shaped diamond that you're looking at here is a lab diamond. 
the diamond was $1,580. The setting, which is the white gold pave rope engagement ring setting was $1,370. Add that all up, add tax, and then there was a $343 discount for the current sale that they were having at the time for a grand total of $2,809.05. Now, you could build this same ring with a natural diamond that is graded uh, very similar to this, but you can expect to pay about double of what you paid for the lab diamond. So a very similarly graded natural diamond would be around probably $3,000 to $3,300 um, for this ring. So another thing that I like to include and love to show everyone is what the diamond actually looked like on the website when we were purchasing it versus what it looks like in real life. I like to do that because I think James Allen does a good job of giving you a pretty transparent view of the diamond so you can really see what it looks like. This is important because you want to know where the inclusions are. Um, you want to know if they're dispersed or tightly grouped together because that can really change the overall look of the diamond. So as you can see here, very consistent between the two. And this is a really, really good looking diamond overall. I think it's very, very important to have actual pictures of the diamond you're going to receive because it will help you understand the light performance and it will also help you understand where the inclusions are and whether or not it makes the diamond eye clean or not. So very, very important. Now, speaking on lab diamond versus natural diamond, it's really up to you and your preference. Some people really like lab diamonds because they can get a bigger diamond for the same price or they can save a lot of money going with a lab diamond and oftentimes the specific grading characteristics of a lab diamond are better for less money so you can get a good looking stone that fits your budget that's a really nice size but some people love the idea of natural diamonds and that's perfectly okay you can go with a natural diamond you're just going to have to spend a bit more to get what you want and to get the size that you want so it's really up to you and what you prefer and what your budget is now to help demonstrate this i just want to cut to another clip these are two different diamond engagement rings that cost the exact same price they're right around seventy three hundred dollars the ring on the left, that's a 1.1 carat natural diamond in a solitaire band. Nothing fancy in terms of the band. The band's about $500, and the rest of the money was stuck straight into the diamond. So about $6,800 diamond, $500 band, and natural diamond on the left. On the right, we have a custom band. This is a scallop six-prong design with the pave band, rose gold, and I have it paired with a 2.16 carat lab diamond and both of these rings cost the same price so this is just a good visual representation of how going from a natural diamond to a lab diamond can have a really big difference on the overall look of the ring because you can get a substantially larger diamond so just keep that in mind like i said there's no right or wrong answer for lab versus natural but it's undeniable that a lab diamond will allow you to create a ring that looks far more expensive than it actually is so if you're in that like three thousand or less range and that's your budget you can get that one carat size in a nice setting like you're seeing here with this heart-shaped diamond. And this is a ring that should be you know, anywhere between five and $7,000 and you can get it under $3,000 with the lab diamond, which is great. If you're in that five to $10,000 range, you can build a ring like you're seeing here. This ring, if it was built with a natural diamond, would be anywhere between twenty-five dollars and $40,000 and you can build it for less than 10. So there's really a lot of incentive to go with a lab diamond just purely off the aesthetic of a ring and just how nice and jaw-dropping of a ring you can make with a lab diamond. So just keep that in mind. I tend to be biased towards lab diamonds because I've done so many videos on them and they just look so good and it's astonishing how much less expensive they are than natural diamonds. So I quite like that. I like the more bang for your buck for a lab diamond, but like I said, it's completely up to you. I just wanna give you all the information that you can use to make the decision yourself. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you liked it, all we ask is be sure to smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you thought about this ring. And as always, we have a ton of other videos on our channel. If you guys are looking for more information on lab versus natural or different cuts of diamonds from James Allen, be sure to check out our video on our channel. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.